Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is a special on the ground here at the VTUG SummerSlam 2019, the 16th and final year of the event. Uh, we've, we've got people coming in from all over the environment, and so many changes. Uh, really, really change uh, is, is one of the central themes, and joining me on the program is Matt Broberg, who, when I first met, uh, had a very different job, had a different name, uh, but uh, was one of the keynote speakers this morning. Uh, Matt, uh, th thank you so much for joining us, and Always love you too. representing the Cube shirt. Yeah, thank you. I had to wear my limited edition Cube shirt. Uh, I've got to represent for everybody. Yeah, I've, I've moved on in a slightly different direction from the V community, uh, but what I love about the virtualization community is it's really about the relationships that we have. So being here is just reconnecting with people I really care about and making sure that they have paths forward with their career as well. Not that virtualization is disappearing overnight, but there's a lot of interesting ways to grow these days, and I like to advocate for that. Well, yeah, one, one of the things that I loved when this changed from being the V-Mug, the New England V-Mug, to the V-Tug, uh, it actually was helping along that transition of it's more than just virtualization, what's going on in cloud computing obviously is having a huge impact, and you know what's happening in careers and developers, and that was some of the conversation that you had this morning. And if people can't read on the lower third, you're currently with Red Hat, you're a technical yeah. advocate as well as the and an editor with opensource.com. That's correct. Uh, of course, uh, Red Hat, uh, we now call that IBM, is that right? Yes, well, I mean, IBM is the overall. Uh, Red Hat is still an independent part of uh, the organization. And I work for opensource.com. It's a special small group that we get to focus just on telling open source stories inside the ecosystem of open source. So everything from uh, lawyers talking about licenses to people learning Python to system administrators uh, telling about their Linux expertise. And it's all, it's all very interesting and very, uh, very exciting because so many of the people here are fantastic sysadmins that, yes, they know virtualization, yes, they know the, the proprietary side of it, but the open source side is just as much part of their day, and I want to give them a way of sharing that. Yeah, uh, so careers, of course, is something that you know well. Uh, I, I was not only a longtime listener, but happened the pleasure to be on the Geek Whisters podcast uh, once, and you yourself have gone through a number of career changes. When I first met you, uh, very technical, uh, you know, working in uh, you know, this is some of the products there. Uh, yeah. You did some very community-focused events, um, but kept your technical bent and are back working a lot with this, you know, technical community. Uh, you know this, ge these geeks, uh, you know, at the show there, and they're, they're, they're your people. 100% my people. Yeah, I, I found it early on, I was given the advice that if you ever go anywhere outside of an engineering organization, you're going to lose your edge. And what I found in practice is that there's actually a, a wide breadth of technology and wide breadth of jobs necessary to support the technology out there these days. So when you pick your head up, when you look into uh, organizations you might not normally think you could work in, like marketing or in sales, you can find some of the most technical people in a company. They're attracted to jobs where they can communicate in the way they like to communicate communicate and they have the day-to-day -day life that matters to them. I found that I love telling stories. I love supporting people trying to tell stories. That makes me gravitate to a very different part of the organization than engineering where I started. Uh, and I still get to learn quite a bit. I'm actually coding more than I did when I was an engineer technically. And I look forward to doing that more. Yeah, well, I, it really is being able to connect between communities. How do we get, you know, share those stories and make sure we can speak the language of our audience? Uh, you know, so often it's, you know, if I'm if I'm in the IT organization, I don't necessarily understand the business. We were just talking to Josh Atwell. Is if you don't understand the key objectives of the business, how do you know that you're supporting it? How do you make sure you are valuable to the organization? Right. Uh, and I think so. Some similar themes were in your keynote. One hundred percent true. Yeah. And there's a lot of nuance to it because uh, the the waves of cloud and DevOps and coding infrastructure as code have all se kind of shaken the foundation of sys administration in a way that's just. It seems to be telling a story of you're not good enough in what you're doing. And I really don't like that narrative. I think we can reframe it in a very positive way that we decided to all work in technology because it is inclusive of change and because we need to continue to evolve. If we wanted to be certain about what we're doing every day, you need to study something like geology so that rocks kind of keep the same or be a chiropractor and you crack the back the same way every time. In technology, you're constantly evolving. You're constantly looking at the next step. And I love uh, Josh's work in new ops. I love seeing people adopt DevOps. Uh, ideas and open source is such a gateway into all of that work so open source as the core of it once you realize you don't have to file a ticket when something breaks and you can go fix it or you can talk to a developer that's fixing it you feel a brand new form of community that you just don't feel in this part of the industry 
and I've just I've become obsessed with it. I want other people to know that there's an option there that it's really exciting. Yeah, it's interesting. I remember the first time I went to a Red Hat show. Um, I've worked with Linux for many years. I, I've worked with Red Hat for a long time, but it was definitely a different feel at a Red Hat summit uh, than it was going to uh, you know virtualization user group or VMworld. It's you know yes th that inclusiveness and they want to help, but. Uh, you know, in open source, a lot of times it's like, right, how are you contributing? It doesn't mean you necessarily have to be, you know, fixing bugs and filing code. Maybe you're helping in the documentation, but it is that that contribution is so central uh, to what happens open source. I know you've got uh, some thoughts on 100 percent. Yeah, the, the contribution is such a huge element. And like the shirt that you made, the shirt is for GopherCon, effectively. Yes. It's with Gophers from the Go programming uh, language community. And what's cool about Go, and I've recently went to PyCon for the Python developer community, and at each of those events, what I love is that every one of the booths, every one of the people speaking, they have a project that you can participate in. And what's great about that is I think it's it, uh, the fear of it being like, oh, I have to learn to code to participate here quickly goes away when you look and they're, they're looking for users. They're looking for subject matter experts on IT infrastructure to use the software, test it at scale, make sure it's supported, make sure it's secure in all the ways that sysadmins are the subject matter experts on. So it's that, not that sys administration is going away, it's that it's evolving in a way that is more inclusive of other technologies and honestly more freeing once you get into it. All right, so Matt, uh, you currently live in Minnesota. I do. Uh, but you, 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 you lived here uh, in the Northeast for a while. You'd been to many environments. Give us a little bit of, you know, what, what the VTUG community and, and the, the people at this, uh, this, this event uh, have meant to you personally. I, I can't quite sum up how important it's been. Uh, I started volunteering as part of the VTUG community from a social media angle, which showed me that actually marketing can be interesting because it helps other people connect. And then I spoke here on uh, multiple times early on in my career. It gave me the confidence. It gave me the community that helped support me. And I think we all can do uh, a good job of remembering why we're here and remembering how to bring that forward in our local communities. All right. Well, Matt, always a pleasure to catch up with you. Th here, thank Sue. you for the keynote this morning and uh, look forward to uh, seeing your continued work at other events. Yeah, thanks, Sue. All right. Uh, I'm Stu Miniman. I'll be back with more coverage here as always. Thanks for watching theCUBE.